What's going on, peoples? Happy Friday. You know what it is. Let me put these groups in real quick. Like I always say, man, the more the merrier, man. Let everybody get the opportunity to enjoy the realest show, man. That's all I focus on is keeping it 100, man. Because if you keep it 100, you can't go wrong, man. You just can't. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. I just think you can't. Prove me wrong. You know what I mean? Big Friday, man. It's actually uh, Friday the 16th. Let me see who's tapping in. It's yo, yes, sir. We got Loka in the building. Yeah, man. Big show tonight. You know we going to bring the pain, man. You know that. Noah Park in the building. We got MG Raider. I just named him MG Raider, man. He don't even know I just gave him that name. And hopefully he's going to like that name, man. You know the new apparel's out. Make sure y'all check it out. The hats is in. Coast to coast. Wins and losses. Ready for the taking. Let me let the building fill up. Then I'm going to give y'all the message of the day. And then we're going to start this marvelous show, man. Yeah, oh, man. My man Suge Knight in the building, man. Major salute to Suge Knight, baby. You already know, big dog. I told you since the day I met you, I fuck with you, man. If I didn't prove it by now, then I don't know what the fuck to say, dog. You my dog, B. Steve Levine in the building, man. That's my favorite white boy right there. I love me some Steve Levine, man. That, man, you get a workshop with Steve Levine, it ain't like you even working, man. Yeah, let me let the peoples come in. Then I'm going to give y'all the message of the day. And we're going to start this song. Let me see where I put it at, though. Yeah, let the peoples keep coming in, man. Yeah, yeah, sure. You already snow, baby. You already know how we get down, baby. Yeah, let me see where I put it. I can't, damn, I don't even know why. You know what? I know what it is anyway. I don't need that paper. You know what I'm saying? All right, now that we got some people in the building, I'm going to start the, uh, the message of the day. You know, then we're going to start the show. I'm going to give y'all my shenanigans. Then I'm going to have Noah Parker pull up. Hopefully, Noah Parker pulls up in a situation or in an area where we can see and hear him really good. Because he always want to fuck around with my shit, man. Yeah, Sixers, man. Let me, uh, Sixers are actually losing to go to state. By the way, Dog King's in the building. Ain't no way Sixers is covering that. The whole... The, 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 the Hall of Famers are all out and watch Golden State cover that and fuck around, win it. All right, message of the day, guys. When I give you all these messages, I'm not judging nobody, man. Only God can judge. I'm only trying to give your motherfuckers an advice, man. That's all I'm trying to do. Stop telling people, yo, yo, you got my word and you don't deliver. Yo, 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 on God, son, on God, and you don't deliver. And last but not least, yo, man, I got you on everything, and you don't deliver. I'm telling you right now, guys, the only thing we take to the coffin is our word. You can't take your woman. You can't take your car. You can't take your house. You could probably take your jury, but I promise you, within a week, they're going to dig your ass out and rob you. These hook motherfuckers are not playing. Let them find out you in there with a Cuban link to see those motherfuckers don't start shoveling you out and take your juice. So the only thing you can take with you guys is your motherfucking word. Stick by your word, man. Stick by your word. That's all you got. Stop fronting for nobody. And with that, let's start the show. Al York Sports, baby. The raw truth. Another Friday, man. This is Christmas month. Holiday month. Family month. No drinking and driving. That still doesn't give you the ability to drink and drive. Because the task force is out there. And I promise you they waiting. Soon as you play yourself. They right behind you. So like my wife always says, regret is at the end, guys. So listen to what I'm telling y'all. Drink, get a designated driver, or have your motherfucking brother pick you up. Just do it the right way, and don't get arrested over no bullshit. The new year's about to land. Real spill. Let me shut this down. Let's start the show. 
And no, I'm not on drugs. Those that think, you know, that see me excited with all this energy, this is natural causes, man. Oh, Wally in the building, that's my dog right there, man. Yo, that, that man, that's my day one right there. Wally, major salute, brother. I see you getting that working, too. Don't think I don't see you getting that working, Wally. All right, let's start the show, guys. We're going to start off with two sad news. Uh, we lost a, a great college football coach in Mike Leach. Died on Monday, all of a sudden at 61. Nobody seen it coming. He just conked out in the hospital. Uh, we lost basically a genius of college football. Uh, you know, he coached Texas Tech, Oklahoma, Mississippi State. Leach was known to be a very funny guy. On top of that, he got a joke about being married. He's off the wall. Uh, he had a career record of 158 and 107 and 8 and 9 in the bowl games. Rest in power, Mike Leach. Other news. We're going to go to the NBA. We also lost a terrific individual in Mr. Paul Silas. Uh, Silas wasn't your best head coach, but everybody loved him. Uh, he's a three-time NBA champion as a player, put his work in, and just a respectable brother. Paul Silas, I have to give you his NBA record. Uh, he was 387 and 488 as a coach, but that doesn't describe this individual at all. Paul Silas, from all the stories I read up on him, since when he met with Michael Jordan, everybody loves this man. He is a gentleman's gentleman, and we lost another good one. Rest in power, Paul Silas. Okay, let's go to some baseball news. I'm going to zap through this. I got Noah Park on deck, and we're going to get it popping, brother. Ex-New York Yankee outfielder Andrew Benettini and the Chicago White Sox agreed on a five-year, 75 M's deal on Friday. Benettini hit 304, five home runs, 51 RBIs with an OPS of 772. And my man, we didn't resign him? Yes. We could have got him basically on an average contract like the White Sox did or maybe just above average. And this guy's a contact hitter has a good glove, and that's what we need is contact hitters. But I guess we bringing these young boys up because the only reason I can see why we inside Paul Silas is because we bringing up the young boys in Volpe, Dominguez, and Peraza, and we still got Cabrera. So hopefully the young boys step up and do the job that Benettini did all last year, hitting over 300. Other news. Let's go to the, uh, let's go to the uh, Harwood. Detroit Pistons, number one overall pick, K. Cunningham, is out for the season with surgery on his left shin. So if you ask me, the Pistons might tank again, get another top five pick. They got Ivy last year, Cunningham the year before. They're going to keep stacking up their chips. And before you know it, they're going to be a real good team. Because I think right now, I'm not saying they're going to tank on purpose, but just without K. Cunningham, the point guard, who's supposed to be the best player on their team, I, they're not going to make the playoffs, and they'd be lucky to win X amount of games without K. Cunningham, and hopefully he'll get better and he'll be ready to go next year. Other news. Uh, the San Francisco Giants, we're going to the Diamond, uh, signed Carlos Correa to a record-breaking for shortstops. 13 years, 350 M's for Correa. I can't be mad at him. The Yankees wasn't going to give him that. No other team was going to give him that. Astros wasn't going to give him that. So he went after the flow. My problem is he's going to be the next Robinson Cano. He went and got his money, and he's going to play with a bad team that I don't want to say because it's a 13-year contract. They might get better by the fourth year, but it's a bad team right now, and it's a big ballpark. Now, he might hit for average, but he's definitely not going to hit for power in that big park. But salute to Carlos Correa. We cannot hate. 13 years, 350 M's. Salute. I cannot hate. Whether it's a bad decision or not, he got the bag. Other news. My New York Yankees, baby, picked up Carlos Vondong. This is the guy that I really wanted. I wanted Verlander, but Verlander was only going to go two years. I knew DeGrom wouldn't work because I knew they would not. I knew everybody and their mother would have hated on DeGrom coming to the Yankees. So Rondon is another lefty that can help out Nasty Nesta from the left-hand side. We got Silverino Cole. Uh, we got Montas, who hopefully don't got a tie arm no more. And hopefully we can pick up Nathan Nivaldi 
And uh, we still got Haman. So we on our way, man. We got to get a shortstop, a catcher, and the Yankees on on their way. Six years, 162 M's, 27 M's a year to lose. Uh, salute to Carlos Rondon. Other news. I got to hurry up before my man come in. Free agent, uh, left-handed Sean Manea. Signed also with the San Francisco Giants, went 89 last year, five runner of an average, 156 strikeouts, two years, 25 M's for Sean Manea. Giants are trying to get better, but once they lost out on Judge, I mean, Correa is not a bad substitute, but Judge is the real guy to build around. But you know what? I guess they feel Correa is too. Let's see what happens in Frisco. Okay, other news real quick. New York Mets picked up Kadai Singer. Uh... And the New York Mets feature on a five-year, 75 M's deal. A star in Japan for 11 years. I mean, this guy's no joke. 104 and 51 with a 2.42 earn run average in Japan. But that's in Japan. Now he got to bring this water in, 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 to the major leagues. So let's see what happens. Is he going to be the next Nomo? Or he's going to be the next Arabu? So if, if he's a Arabu, he's a bust. If he's the next Nomo, then he's good. That Nobody knows till it happens. B4 in the building. I see you, baby. You know what? I got a lot of stuff, but let's get my man Noah Park. I seen his name pop up. Noah Park, if you're in the building, let's go. Let's get you in. I might as well get you while I see you. Hold up, guys. Let me see if I can just plug him in. Give me a minute. No, I just, I just sent for you. What's up, big dog? Yeah, yeah, what up? Uh, rest in peace, Arabu. Rest in peace, a Yankee legend. Who that? Say that again? Hideki Arabu. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I break hey, that up. I like that, hey, He killed himself. That's how, bad, that's how bad it was with him, that they hated him so much, he took his own life. So, I mean, I, I know Bro. New York media is crazy. The fans... You know we don't we don't like losing, but it came. It was that bad for him. So I, it, we'll see how it is in Boston. It ain't as tough as New York, but we'll see. But you know, uh, you know what the boss nicknamed him, right? Uh, the fat toad or yeah. something, right? Yeah. They, oh my gosh, that that didn't help out to his uh, his worth of living. You know what I mean? But um, yeah. Let's get to the point, though. There's a lot of stuff we gotta cover. I want to start off first with you. Uh, let me let me get a nice conversation. Let's jump right into Deion Sanders. Have you been following and keeping up with the Deion Sanders story, Noah Parker? I heard, uh, you know, there's there's pros and cons of why he left. I understand the move to Colorado is going to end up end up being a stepping stone to where he goes next. Probably down south somewhere. Uh, he's bringing guys over from where he's at to Colorado. And I heard it was kind of uh, both ways on. In Jackson State, and I mean, he did his time there. He he uh, <clears throat> he elevated that program to a certain extent. So I don't have any problem with what he do. He's doing what he's got to do. He's he's moving up in the ranks. More power to him. My man, I'm a thousand percent prime time. I I read in. I, I looked at some YouTube. I, I went in real deep into the stories, Mr. Parker, and um, they broke into his car twice. Yep. They broke into his son's car. They robbed his jewelry during his first game. Not only that, okay, you can say, you know what? That's not, not, that's not the institution. That's the people on the outside. Now we're going to go to the institution. He signed a contract with an agreement of once he packed 30000 in the crib, anything over 30000 he was supposed to get a percentage. If you look at Jackson State's home games, it was 60,000 plus every time. He didn't get one penny from that, bro. Now, one penny from that. I, I, I would have went out on bad terms, but he, he, he did it, you know, he did it more, more the Not right only, way. I mean, only that. Let me add on. Let me add on. He fixed the whole facility up out of his own pocket. Yeah. He only was making 300,000. Let me tell you something to fix the bathroom area alone is 300,000 or maybe more than that. He had TVs in the bathroom. He had them little tubs where they could sit down with the ice in it like my home <laughs> doing the commercial. No, for real. So not only that, he bring a winning attitude. He helped those kids with the grades. I mean, it is such a marvelous job. 
I don't know how anybody can hate. They had this guy called Dr. Umas who, who was knocking him because he thought he was going to set a trend, you know, change it for the, you know, let me say this correct, for the African Americans, make it more for them. But how can you stay under these circumstances, Noah? I could see if he didn't go through all this and Umas made this argument. No, no. And he's even coming back to finish what he started, yep. Noah. He's going yep. to the bowl game. Yeah, I like that. I like he did you got nothing. You got to have nothing but respect for this man. Nothing but respect. And he, he cashed out. He getting 30 M's for five years in Buffalo, six M's a year. You can't be mad at him. You can't be. I hope that, any last words, I, Noah? I, I hope they lose tomorrow. Just, just so you can be like, hey, I, hey, I, I did my thing, and this is what it's gonna be like when I'm gone. <laughs> but they probably win. So, be NC Central. I, I don't. You see know them what's losing. sad? It's like you get like a rich family member to come visit your house, and he comes and shows love. He buys everybody gifts. He buys food, and then motherfuckers is robbing him while he's sleeping, dog. Your brother's going. In his fucking wallet, taking two, three hundred dollars dollars fucking wallet while he's sleeping, man. Yeah. You don't do shit like that, yeah. dog. Not it's when people is coming upon blessing the situation. He never, he never had to go there. You know, he could have definitely started. That's why he's out. That. That's why he's out. And I'm fighting for prime time. So anybody who's against prime time, I hope you're hearing me right now because I went and did my homework. I'm not talking out my ass. This is straight. Homework. There's a lot of shit on YouTube. You can look it up. You can thoroughly play with it. Take your own eyes and all that shit. And Prime Town for me is the fucking man. And I never really been, yeah, I've been a Prime Town fan in football, but I never really liked him. I like the way he played, but now I like him. Real talk. Any last words before we move nah, on? Go, no ahead. Fuck. go ahead. Neon Dion. Uh, we'll see how, how we do it in, uh, in Colorado now. A whole different animal going to. Colorado, where I, I don't even know uh, how many players are going to want to play on that team now or are or, or going to jettison now or, you know, are going to get replaced because it's going to happen. They're going to get replaced because that team was awful last year. I mean, one of the but, worst teams. But, but ain't that beautiful for him to go yeah, to an awful yeah. situation like, like again? That, yeah. yeah it's a, Come on, dog. Yeah. It's, it's Colorado? Great. Yeah. In two decades, ain't been nobody. Yeah, and they've been real bad this last year. They was – Looking like a D2 team. They were horrible, especially on the offense. Exactly. So I like the fact that he's going where there's a challenge. And I like what he's saying. I'm coming. Yeah. That's his favorite shit. You yeah. know, we're going to fix the defense. I'm coming. I'm bringing my own, own suitcase. I'm coming. Yo, you right. got to love this, this guy, man. And if he pans out here, oh, my gosh. They're going to be throwing money at him in the NFL anywhere. And he could go anywhere if he could accomplish what he did at Jackson yeah, I, State. And I, I can see him going to FSU first. Uh, go there you go. Him. Yeah, and then, there, uh, that's, that's perfect yep. fit. You, I couldn't even say a better team. That's a perfect fit for him right there where he right. used to play at, his right. old stomping grounds. Okay, real quick. I know you didn't really want to touch in on Aaron Judge, but I need you to touch in on Carlos Rondon and the acquisition of Rondon. What does Rondon bring to our New York Yankees, Noah Parker? I mean, the, the, the rotation was solid up, up top and kind of like uh, Tyone, Frankie Montas. I don't trust these dudes. Now we got rid of Tyone, got rid of some dead weight. I mean, the number five guy is Frankie Montas, who, who, who has ace material. He's got yes. the stuff. If he can figure it out on his own, you got one, you got two legit lefties. Even though we don't know if, if it was a flash in the pan with uh, Nestor, but uh, he still got some legit stuff. I'm sure you do. And then I, I like Severino being the number three, number four guy. Take some weight off him because he was the number yes. one a couple years ago. Now, yes. now you can just step back and be like, hey man, I'm not the man no more. I could be, I could be Tony Kukoc. You know, so I could be uh, uh, Chris Bosh. I don't have to be the man. So I, I like that he, you know, he's going to fit in that role. He'll have way less pressure to perform. Um, I really want to see what happens with uh, with Gleyber Torres and the rest of that lineup. How it fills out. I mean, we know they lost Ben Attendi today. Yeah. And uh, we'll we'll see what, what what transpires for the rest of that lineup. But um, I, I, it's a huge improvement having a legit ace on top, and then a guy that's almost just as good. And he's left-handed, um, and has pitched in the American League already. A lot of people. Forget that, you know, when 
players leave the National League, come to the American League, it's a different beast. But he started off in the American League, went west, mm -hmm. did the thing out there, and now he's coming back to, to the East. So we'll see how, how uh, if he can handle the media because you know he's a fiery guy. And uh, that can backfire on him too if if it don't if it, if he ain't pitching well. All that yelling and shit, we don't play that shit in New York. Yo, he's a horse though, dog. Yeah, I like it. It's, it's a good move. He's move. a horse, dog. He went fourteen and eight with I think a two point five five. If I'm correct, don't hold me to the numbers. I got it in the paper here somewhere. I know I think he had just under a three with a real bad team. Dog. Yep. Remember, he pitched in a big ballpark too, though. Where the ball. Okay, you got to give him that. But how about what he pitched with the White Sox? Yeah. In that part that the ball that, flies that, out and he did great over there. Also. Saying, and that, that's why I like the fact that he didn't. He ain't just came from San Francisco or L.A. and he been out there in a big ballpark. He pitched the American League for a while, so I think he'll fit in. All I'm worried about is his up here, his mental, and uh, if he can handle the criticism when you know he does have bad starts. If he turns into Kevin Brown, if he you know becomes one of those kind of pitchers that just can't handle lose, the next thing you know they snowball and. And, uh, you know, he, they get booed and they out there. So we'll see. If he can, I'm sure he'll be able to handle that because he's a competitor and he wants to win and he knows he's the – he don't have to be the man either. Everybody know Garrett Cole's the man. Everybody know that. He, he can he can say he was trying to be the man, but he not – you know, he don't he ain't gotten the Garrett Cole money yet and uh, he's not going to have all the limelight on him. So he can kind of just no, cozy and – Go out number. there, go 20 and 3 and, and just don't even say nothing. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 as long as he can pitching to the somehow – you know, I just they got to get rid of Donaldson and Hicks. Let the young guys work. Put in Volpe. Yeah. Put in and let these guys eat. These young cats are waiting. The Martian in there. I want to see the Martian. Yeah, baby. We, uh, yeah. yeah well, I want to. Let's uh, get Dominguez in there. Let's see what he could do. He elevated still, on every level. He's still yeah, a little like, bit like Felix, uh, My man Felix Jacino said he dominated on every level. He's ready to come to the big yeah. leagues. But I told him that doesn't guarantee no. domination in the MLB. No. So uh, you know what I mean. But let's. At least put them out there, see what so they I, can do. I, I think they bring them up if injuries happen, but uh, there's other guys that are waiting in the wings, like Volpe, Peraza wants to chat. I, I, I really want uh, want to know what happens with Glaber. I, I think it would be a good uh, a good middle infield with um, Peraza and Glaber. I think that would be a great matchup. Can't have IKF out there unless we unless we try to run the same shit as last year. Get Donaldson, IKF, and Aaron Hicks the fuck out of here. Now, let's go back. Let me tap in on Frankie Montas. Pitched with a tie on, pitched a lot of innings. One of my other colleagues, Sportsbook Jeff, mentioned that to me. He said, Al, he's been over pitching, and it showed, Noah. It showed with those horrible performances every other game. I mean, there was a point where he couldn't even throw yeah. strikes, my man. Yeah, it was bad. But like you said, you know he's got the magical stuff. I think as a fifth starter, Noah, he's going to be better than every fifth starter he challenges, bro. I mean, you put Montas on any fifth, that's that's like a W. I'm going to the window. I'm throwing out 220 to win 200 real quick all day <laughs> or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Because I love his stuff, and I love the fact that he's going against everybody's fifth. But he, like you said, he's got to find that potion that worked for him. And once he can find that, I think he'll be all right with us for the next couple of years, bro. Yeah, I mean, coming from Oakland where there's no pressure, big ballpark, you can – Missed and the balls hang up there. You get that yep. ball ain't gonna hang up there in Yankee Stadium. So, I mean, he, I don't think he was ready for that, but I, I'm glad he got some innings in, some games in last year to prepare him for this year. Yep. So he can just, you know, like I said, close into that fifth starter. Where, or I mean, we don't expect to win our fifth game. I mean, you want to win them, but you don't win them. It's fine. We can, we can, like, we can switch him out with Herman if we have to sometimes, you know, let him get some work exactly. and see, figure I'm out. I'm hearing, I'm hearing we might bring Nathan back. I mean, I wouldn't the mind getting Nathan back. Yeah, he, yeah. he got the stuff still. Uh, I mean, he got some nasty yeah, stuff, man. He, he do. I mean, he he pitched the one year he pitched in New York. I, I couldn't understand why we got rid of him because uh, he, he had legit stuff. I don't know if he still got the same uh, velocity and heat miles per hour, but from what I saw last year, I wouldn't mind him having him as a fifth starter, but I'm not greedy. That's I'm happy. I'm, with, I'm happy with what they got now. If, it, if that don't come to fruition, they got five legit guys right now that can compete with anybody in the league. Okay, real, real quick before we move on um, with the Yankees, up. Uh, would you mind? I mean, Swanson's out there. I know he's not as good as the other three shortstops. You made that clear to me. Sportsbook Jeff made it clear to me. But I don't think Dansby would be a bad fit with us. I don't bro. think Dansby's that. And he's got a there, championship. There's, so. there's some. There's some part of me that thinks he's better than Correa. That he's got parts of his game that Correa don't got. He's uh he's underrated. 
Um, he's a, more of a slap hitter. He gets he keeps the ball in play. Great defender. He's going to be cheaper than Correa. I I, I was the, I thought that's the guy I would rather have. Like yo, you said, he he's a champion. Go yard yeah. on you too. Don't get it twisted. He's got, he's got power too. Yeah, if he has to yeah, bring it out, but he, he don't strike out as much as a guy like Correa did. Uh, he's the last big name out there. I think him and J.D. Martinez are the last real big names. Uh, Brandon Drury, I think I saw There's a couple guys left out there, but he's the number one guy now <clears throat> with Benny Gunn and uh, and uh, some other guys that have been signed elsewhere. Joe, I heard Joey Gallo sign with the Twins. Right. Hey, best of luck, Minnesota. <laughs> 11 milli. <laughs> Shit, I strike out less than him. For, for, Chris, for Chris Davis 2.0. But um. Oh my God! <laughs> but I don't uh, even want to go back to Chris Davis, but get though. But we'll, we'll see. I, I I I wouldn't mind getting him, but I I for some reason I have a real bad feeling that Freddie Freeman is in his ear right now, saying, "Come on, dog, let's let's uh let's join up again. You know, we could play on the Dodgers, take this spot. We we just yeah, lost, especially this. especially after losing Turner. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, Dodgers that's, lost in the last three years. Who they lost? They lost Machado, Seagull. Yeah. And turn us, yeah. Shit. So, I mean, I can, wow. I, I can I mean, see, a lot of I can right see Swan be fitting right in there with his old yes, teammate, sir. and uh, yes, sir. I, I, I would be happy he signed anywhere but LA because I, I just think that that team already real good, no matter what who you throw out there. But you put uh, Dansby out there, he could bat, he could bat eighth in that lineup and be and be nasty because they got so many weapons and he can yeah, hit stay, well. stay loaded. Let LA Dodgers stay loaded, but look, let's keep it going. Uh, let's let's, let's change our subjects real fast. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the college playoffs. I know it's early. I'm going to definitely get back to you to ask you what you like all over again. But as of right now, the four teams in, of course, Georgia, Ohio State, TCU, and Michigan, with Georgia playing number four, Ohio State, 13 and 0 versus 11 and 1. I'm really confused with the six and a half, Noah. If I had to make that lineup, I would have made at least nine, nine and a half. Do you agree with this line, or you think I'm, you know, I'm tripping? No, I, I think they still have enough talent, even with the guys sitting out. There's, right. there's still right. athletes on that team, and that's no matter what. I mean, even when remember when they had when they won the national title last time, they won what 15 or 16. They had a third string quarterback do it. Yeah, with Jones, Jones, a Cardell. I mean, they, they whoever, 45, and they were they, they got it yeah. lucky. They they yeah. slipped in in front of TCU that year. Yeah, and I wanted TCU in there. That's what I'm saying, though. My point is, I mean, JT Barrett, you had all these. It don't matter who you throw in there. So they're going to lose a wide receiver mm -hmm. here. They're losing the running back here. But they got guys on deck waiting because it's Ohio State. Facts. They're one of the top recruiting schools in the nation. So I, you can't make it more than seven and a half, seven, uh, no matter what, because it's not like you're putting some scrub in that's been playing triple A, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're putting in a guy that's waiting to take over to be the man next year because this dude's leaving. So got to leave that line. I, I, I think the line's right at seven. Six and a half is a little too low to me. I think seven was the right line. I think that's what it closes at. Um, I, if it was more than that, I'd take Ohio State. Seven and a half, eight, I'd take uh, Buckeyes. I know Georgia is Georgia, but. I'm going to call it right now on the Al York Sports Show, six and a half. Who know what Parker got? Uh, I think he froze, guys. Uh, shit. Oh, are you still there? Yeah, I'm right here. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, it, uh, it don't matter if you freeze with me because usually it don't freeze yeah. with everybody else. No, I, but yeah, I, what you got, brother? I, I heard you. I said, I said if it was six and a half, I'd, take the, I'd buy it up to seven just for that, you know, comfortability and take the Buckeyes. I, I just oh, okay. think they still have – they have athletes. So, and the line's at, that's the line for a reason. That's going to lure them people in. Six and a half, that's like seeing two and a half. Like, all we got to do is no, go no, that, oh. That's my point. I know people right now that's going to take the Buckeyes – Money line, believe it or yeah, not. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. But, but me and you, me and you like insurance. We always yeah, been on some insurance shit. Not. I, why not? I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take, take, take the insurance. Only time I don't take insurance is when they put an ace out there in blackjack. That's it. Only time I don't do it. There you go. Let's go to the next game. Uh, number two, Michigan Wolverines, thirteen and zero versus number three, TCU Home Frogs, twelve and one. This is a very intriguing game for me. I don't know why the line's seven and a half. Educate me. Tell me something. I mean, I know the Wolverines is for real, but TCU ain't no chopped liver, dog. I, I, I keep going against them, and they keep proving me wrong. I went against them again exactly. against Kansas State, but Kansas State got there. Uh, I was surprised they still let him in, but I know that was kind of a, you know, it was a championship game, so they was going to get in regardless. But um, 
it's hard to go against them because uh, they've been good against the spread. Um, but to me, it should be Michigan or nothing. I can't go against Michigan. I still think TCU is a little over their head. You saw it against Kansas State. I mean, you saw they struggled mightily. Even though the game didn't matter, it mattered. But you still want to have that momentum going into your last game. Finally broke the undefeated streak. I, I would only take Michigan. I can't, I, you know, I hate taking favorites, but I can't take this TCU team because I just think their ratings in my book are a little bit lower than, than what they should be. Got you, got you. Well, my prediction is also because of the line seeming funny. I got to go, you know, buck guys. And TCU, Michigan, you know what? I might take a chance and, and roll that seven and a half, though. I mean, Michigan could win by seven. I mean, hey, listen, win. But I think TCU can keep it close. I think they're going to prove to the world, Noah, that they belong, they belong. in this playoff. You just have to remember, you though. You got to remember, this isn't the same Michigan team that we've been watching. These dudes get buckets. Okay? They, I, I, I want to say they're one of the top scoring teams in the nation. People don't even know that because everybody knows that Michigan is a uh, Ernest Vega. I see you, dog. Yeah, I see you, dog. <laughs> but, uh, Dundee, you know, Dundee, I see you, baby. Mich Michigan is not the same offense which scored – like 17 points a game and be happy just playing defense. This team can put up points. So that's why, and, you know, know, the line is what it they is. They got a good backup because Corwin was out yeah. last game. Yep. The other dude stepped up, bro. Like, it was like nothing. Yep. Uh, it's it's a uh, – They still playing with the backup quarterback if you want to get technical. Yep, it's an intriguing You know game. what I mean? Even though we like him better, but that he's still the backup throughout the end of the day. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, they've been overachieving – Uh. I would love to see Harbaugh win one, dog. I mean, him holding that trophy, crying. <laughs> I, I mean, if that guy didn't earn it, dog, I mean, he was getting crushy after year by the Buck guys. I would just love to see Harbaugh win that yeah. shit. Man. Yeah, he, he, I, he for real, team. as a sports guy, that would probably water me up because I like Harbaugh. I like them as a quarterback when they nicknamed them. Uh, Captain Comeback. He yeah. probably was a little too yeah. young to remember that, but Colts. you know, <laughs> but Indianapolis, right? There yeah, you go, there you go, Captain Comeback. You know what I mean? So, and I liked. I've been a fan of him ever since. And and Forty Niners did a ter terrific job with Kaepernick. I mean, he had Kaepernick play the best he could play because you notice when he left, Cap wasn't the same. Yeah, he course. had a lot to, to do with Cap's play. I mean, the way he beefed him up before the game, banged his shoulders. Looked at him, spoke to him. He had his back. When he left, Captain had none of that, and he, he didn't know how to deal with it. But with, like I said, Harbaugh's great. I hope he gets a chip, man. Any last words before if, we move on, brother? If he doesn't, uh, you can't slander him at all. He did his job in two years in a row now, beating Ohio State as an underdog, this time yep. in a stadium. So uh, I and don't want to hear them. no and nobody. And whooped them, baby. Yep. And, okay. and whooped them. There, there should be nobody talking nothing about how bad. If they don't perform, whatever, he got them here, which nobody saw coming. Facts. Okay, now we're going to jump to the NFL. Uh, I tell you, every week is a new top five. I haven't spoke to you in a little while, so of course it's going to change up. Give me your new top five right now, Noah Parker. You can start five to one, one through five, whatever makes you feel better, dog. Then I'm going to give you mine. Uh, all right, I'm going number five. It's MG in the building. Number five, I'm going to MG, seven. you in the building. Let's go 49ers, number five. Okay. Okay. I'm going with number five, and then number four, I'm going with the Philadelphia Eagles, which I know you got way higher than that. Number three, I got oh. your Dallas Cowboys, better than the Philadelphia Eagles. My power rank is having better. Okay, okay. <laughs> number two, I'm going Kansas City. Number one, I'm sticking with Buffalo, who lead the AFC East, which I told you they'd be back. I know you was a little worried, but uh, you know it was just a little hiccup in the road. They're gonna take care of Miami tomorrow night, revenge game. At home in the snow, probably blowout city, ten nothing. <laughs> right. So that's my <laughs> ranking from five to one. I, I told you to throw the Ravens out a couple weeks ago. You, you didn't believe me. The Ravens trash. Five. How are they? Look, like, listen. How are they trash with everybody hurt, and the backup they, still pulled out two wins. They, I don't they, get they, it. They don't cover. They don't cover points, present. Forget they, about. They are, good I, mean, I know you probably losing money, but they still winning. <laughs> They're all right, team, but they're not going to make Kansas City, Kansas City not, is the worst covering team in football. Yeah, they're not making no noise. Kansas City just coasts. They maintain. They do their thing until, the you know, the playoffs come and then they, 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 they uh, wake up. But my number five, like I said, 
is uh, San Francisco, four Eagles, three Cowboys, two Kansas City, one Buffalo. I got to hear your top five. Say real quick. Just Real quick, I got I got I got Buffalo Bills at number one. Oh wow! I I got the Kansas City Chiefs at number okay. two. I got the Eagles at number three, only because it's not their fault, but strength of scheduling. I but you can't blame them. They're knocking everybody out in front of them. It's not yeah. their fault, but of the odd vision of watching these teams, I think when they start playing these good teams like first going up, we are gonna see who the Eagles really are. Steve Levine's probably upset right now. Big Eagle fan. And and uh, uh, my man, uh, uh, Philly kid. They, uh, they love the Eagles. And my number four is the Frisco Niners, who I got going to the Super Bowl, 18-1. And Purdy's looking like he's holding it down. No, I don't want Purdy to finish the season. Just get us to Jimmy G, and then let's see what happens there. And number five, I got two teams. Of course, I'm going to make it one. Cowboys and Bengals. But, of course, I'm going to take the Cowboys. And the Cowboys beat them in a the head-to-head with Cooper Rush. So I ain't got to say no more. Cowboys is my 15. Real quick, Noah, um, I'm going to try to get MG in. If I can't, just stay on standby. I'll bring you right back. Any last words real hey, quick? We, we got, I think we covered it all. Uh, Argentina, Monday Night World Cup. That's it. That's, that's my okay, last Okay, now word. listen. If I cannot get MG in, I'm going to do uh, Choose One and Wild with you real fast. So don't go nowhere. Let me see if he's in the all building, right. all right? Okay, brother. Yeah, X me out real quick, brother. Yeah, hit that button, fam. Yeah, uh, MG, where you at, baby? I'm going to try to bring you in. No, I think I still see you, bro. Yeah, just, just X me out, brother. See what's going on. Why I can't uh I guess I'm gonna have to stay with him. Okay, there we go. Let me try to get MG. MG, you there? Yeah, we've been having a little troubles with MG lately. I don't know what's going on. Let me see if I can find him. Yeah, we've been having a little, you know, problems getting my man on. I don't know what's going on. Give me a minute, guys. Let me see if I can find him real quick. Mark Guillory. I know he wanted to rock. There's a lot of Raiders shit he want to talk about. I just sent him an invite. Yo, if you there, Mark, come on. If not, I got to get Noah Parker back in. I can't keep the people's waiting. You told me you wanted it bad, but I don't see you, bro. Let me see if I can find him. I'm rolling, scrolling down if he ever tapped in today. Okay, Parker, if you can hear me, Parker, come back in. I don't think he made it, man. He's been having some last-minute issues lately. I don't know what's going on. Let me get. Let me try to get Parker back in through here real quick. All right, Noah, you there? Hold up, guys. This is the bad thing when people don't show up, guys. This is what we go through. You know what I mean? It's a bad thing when they don't show. It's like a job. No call, no show, baby. All right, no. Come back in, bro. Or if anybody want to come in, come in. It's your opportunity. I got 10 minutes to burn. Whoever want to come in, come in. Vega, you want to come in? Whoever want to come in, it's your opportunity right now. Because for some reason, I can't get these guys to pop up. Hold on, give me a minute. If not, I'm have to, I'll hold this shit down myself, but I'm trying to have somebody to talk to to see what's popping. All right, I guess I'm going to have to wait till somebody pop up. We're going to have to free style the rest of this shit here. Um, but start off with the uh, Las Vegas Raiders. Five and eight, losing a critical game. Okay, hold up. We got somebody. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay, we're going to get Noah back in. 
Okay, no, but real quick, um, Vegas Raiders lost a real, real Don King kind of game. They lost last game when they played the Los Angeles Rams. Baker Mayfield looking like big money. Lloyd White in the building. I see you, baby. That kind of killed whatever playoff hope they had. I mean, they could run the table and probably still get in, but you can't lose a 13-point lead and resume back to all your earlier losses where you had these big leads, Kansas City, Cardinals, et cetera. You, you, you follow right. me, right? Right. I mean, we saw now you get a time. you get a winning you get a little winning streak going, get a little winning streak going. McDaniel hugging on Carr, Jacobs, game ball, game ball. It looked like they were starting to get their shit together real fast, and then this, this happens. You lose to one of the worst teams in football, though they were the champions last year. How do you how how do you explain that? That, well, I know this is your team now, so you're a little emotional about it. I get it, but uh, not my team. I'm still a Cowboy fan, but I like the Raiders. Yet I gotta represent the Raiders, being from Vegas. Yeah, yes. yeah. Well, I, I just think that they more, more their IQ and the bad penalties and the timing of it. I mean, Josh McDaniels isn't doing a horrible job, like people say, but he's not doing a great job either. I think if Chucky was still at the helm, it'd be a little. I, I mean, obviously, it could be a whole different. Uh, season with Chucky, but could be way worse. You never know. But I've never really been a Josh McDaniel fan. I just, you know, think some of the play calling, you can't say it was a fault on for not going for it on fourth down on their own territory. It's not that. It's the fact that they just do untimely shit. Uh, clutch moments, they don't wake up. Even their wins, their wins were like they could have lost some game. It was flip of coins. I mean, they were winning them games in overtime. You know, the, uh, <clears throat> Devontae Adams catching in. There was a lot of stuff. I mean, it's not like they blew anybody out and they was, you know, getting their shit together. And, you know, we we, we, we here now. Y'all y'all be scared. No, it was just getting by. So we, I kind of knew it was a fluke. And, you know, with big money, you know, he's, it's not like you're bringing in somebody. That don't know, he still has a little bit of talent. All right? He ain't that bad. He just is in a bad position with some of the some of the teams he played for. So. No, he, he played really bad at Cleveland. I mean, maybe because they had him. A- as a straight drop back, and that's not his game. No, you know, yeah. He likes to keep it moving and let it go. And that's why I think this situation would fit. I thought the 49ers situation would have been a lot better, but uh, Sportsbook Jeff educated me that the Rams had first opportunity for his services. Yeah. So I get it. With the right but coach, I was like, how the fuck 49ers with, didn't get him? The right coach, you know, but, he fits a lot better. I think he'd fit good in a system like that or Pete Carroll – he fit in that kind of yeah, uh, coaching system. Yeah, I'm telling you, I think I think in the right. I think you're right. I think in Cleveland, they had him drop back like on some damn foul shit. That's yeah. not his style of playing. He can't even see over the line. He, you know, he yeah, he, he he's one of those guys you got to keep moving. And, and, and McVay's kind of offense with Gary Jerry Goff with the fake handoff, bootlegging with three, you know, linemen yeah. coming from the other line. I mean, he could drive over a yeah. system like that with all those weapons. Yeah, and uh, in the nice playing condition field, not. Cleveland, where it's fucking freezing and windy. I mean, not taking none away because other people got to deal with that, but he's not built for that. Nah, right, right. Yeah, you're right. So, right. But even at that, I don't, I don't think they should have came back and won, dog. It's not. And I it's mean, sad because a, a, a Raider fan got knocked out in the book that night. That shit was funny as fuck. I promise you. Was- he big Raider fan talking shit throughout the whole game, and, and they, they sniped him out. And, and you know, and I haven't seen them since. Hopefully, he, you know, he changed his mind of thinking of running his mouth on everybody. Dude was like, anybody who went for the Rams, he was all in their face. You can't he thought that. he was in the black hole. He thought he was still in Oakland. And I don't they, know what he thought, but I know one thing. When he got rocked, man, his senses came below. I mean, he still chased the dude after the fact, still a little cuckoo. But I know he learned something because he was bubbled up. And, and usually, that'll make you learn something. But anyway, back to the game. Raiders should have never lost this game. This is the reason why they got Josh McDaniel. Josh McDaniel, for some reason, is not closing these games out. They're not going to fire him because they're paying Chucky still. So he's basically stuck there no matter what. Yep. I, I can't remember. He's got to get this right, dog, because this is bad business all around. I don't want to say this is Carr's last season, but it might be. I think he, I think he can, he's still got the talent to you know, lead this team. But uh, you know how, how, how quick it is. How these you know they turn over quick. He could just be done after this season. Uh, I mean, we saw Mariota struggle in Atlanta when he left. Everybody was trying to say, "Oh, bring Mariota in." Last year, never did it. 
and then we watched him in Atlanta not really be that good. So I think if he left the Raiders, he'd probably uh, play well. He'd probably do better than, you know, because it's in Oakland is it's kind of like it's not as much as like the Yankees or something, but it's it's a lot of pressure two point because they used to be a championship caliber team even though it was decades ago, right. but they still have that mentality where you know we've won we've been there. So it's, it's win, baby. Like, you know, baby. Yep, just win exactly. So, so it's win, baby. When you have that kind of uh, background and past. You got to perform, and uh, if they don't, they'll try to find somebody better. I wouldn't be surprised if Tom Brady said, "Hey, man, let me get one more year. Put me in Vegas." <laughs> My man, let me tell you something. That's that saying was copywritten by Al yeah. Davis. Just win, baby. It. And it's so it's so perfect to use it right now. Yeah. The way they fucking lose the games, dog. Heals everything. That that fixes everything. It don't matter uh, how overrated Michael Jordan was. You know, he won a couple championships. It's all matters. <laughs> now they're naming trophies out of it. Now they're naming trophies out of his name. So hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, listen, let's move on. Uh, go Raiders, man. Raiders, let's turn it around. Cisco Ortega, I know you run the Raider company out here in Vegas, and when I get my live show, you bring in everybody. I want all the skull heads. I want every – I mean, not the skull head. I want all the Raider guys. I want the <coughs> the brother with all, <coughs> all the crazy stuff on him. I want all that shit. Yeah, we going to bring all that shit to, once I get this live show going. But um, definitely support the Raiders. Feel bad for the fans because they so low, you low, uh, uh, Noah. I mean, they throwing after parties after heartbreaking losses, yeah. man. I mean, I mean, how low you can you be? I'm the type of guy, I'm out. You know how, like, sometimes I call you and you lose your golf game and you be like, Al, I'm not going, I'm not doing the show today. I'm out because you be mad yeah. and shit. I'm the yeah, same I fucking can't. way. I, can't I lose celebrate. fucking money. I ain't going no fucking after party we lost. And them guys are just so low, you. They go to the parties, they represent the Raiders, and they just not getting they love they supposed to get, man. You know, at least the Vegas Knights came, you know, and got to the chip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let, the, sure. they let this happen for the Raiders, man. And hopefully in the next couple of years it can happen. But it's got to happen soon, Noah. Because like you said, if Carl leaves and other people start leaving, unless they can get some real good replacements for them. But it looked like they can break up the way it's looking. Right. I can see that happen 100%. So I... It's my. I think one more year after this, you let it go. One more year, uh, run it back, and uh, then then you break it up. I don't think they should do it this year, but I, you never know in the NFL. This is a, it's a it's a uh, short memory league, and they, they you know you find somebody better. Tom Brady makes that phone call. Everybody out. See see y'all. <laughs> I mean, we want to fill the seats in Vegas and with the goat. So I, anything can happen in well, the I, NFL. I keep paying. I keep him and Sean Payton wants him for two years. I heard that too. Wherever he lands at, wherever he lands at, he told Brady, I'll bring you for two years. So that's like Dan Nader, 47 years old. God damn. Anything can happen. Payton wants, you know, he wanted, yeah, he wanted to deal with him. Okay, real quick, uh, choose one and why. I'm going to skip two names. One of them, me and you already tattooed it. Uh, Philip Rivers and Eli Manning. I don't think we want to go back there. No, we already know. Uh, the other one might be before your time. Cliff Branch and Charlie Joyner, two great wide receivers for the Chargers and Raiders. So we're going to go with one baseball, choose one and why. We're going to go with, with Mike the Moose Mucina or David Cohn. And don't, don't say it's easy because I got numbers to prove it ain't. So you better think before you say what you're going to say. I mean, one's in the Hall of Fame, right? And the other's not? Yeah. Not the other, the, oh, Mike Mucina, is he in it? He, 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 uh, you know what? I don't think he, yeah, he's a Hall of Famer, yes. He made it finally. I know. I, yeah, yeah, he's he a Hall of uh, Famer. Now, I don't know if uh, Cole, I don't think Cole made it yet, but Messina's in. Messina's in, all right. I think he went, did he go in as an Oreo? I don't remember if he went in as an Oreo or a Yankee. But, or, I think an Oreo, that's where he had his dramatic. You know, he played great yeah. with the Yankees, but the Orioles is where he started all that mic, that moot shit and all that. I think they he won both 270, got, He won 270 wins. Yeah, I so, think they both I mean, got David Cole written. got 194 they wins. Both, both got rings. I, I want to say Cone was more of an ace when he put when he pitched, but I don't really remember him before the Yankees too much. I know he had he had some really good years before then before he joined New York. But uh, I mean, I want to say Mussina was an ace pretty much everywhere until I think they got Randy Johnson in, in New York, and then there was some other guys that were ahead of him. But right, um, I, if you put a gun to my head, I, in a big game, game seven situation. I hate it going. I would. I would. I can't go against Mike Messina, so I gotta. 
I got to go with the Moose. But if it's just a regular ass game, and I, I'll go David Cohn. He ain't. Right. But if it's a pressure clutch must win game, I'm going with the Moose. But any other time, I think Cohn's got the better stuff overall when he was in his prime. Well, I'm doing the opposite. Game seven, I got to get David Cohn in there. Okay. Nastiest stuff, but one of the nastiest pitches in the game. Yeah. I mean, he's got nasty stuff. But his father's reliable, consistent. Is, is the most. It's, okay. the, I mean, you can see it with 270 wins to 194. Yeah, there's no wrong answer. There. No wrong yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they but both game seven, legit. dog, let me tell you something. We putting on the cone heads and we running with David Cone, dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any, uh, any last words, Noah Parker, before we end this episode, uh, bro? Uh, that that last it, the who I never did that that segment, but it's it kind of reminded me out the box segment you used to do a couple years back. Um, if I had to go with one out the box, you, I'd say, who, who do you go with in a in a something that's never happened? What quarterback you taking in the Super Bowl? Dak Prescott or Tony Romo? Wow, you gave me two Doctor Chokers. I know. You might as well throw like Kirk it. Cousins in there. You might as well throw Kirk no, Cousins I in there because they ready. both had the star on the helmet. <laughs> I would go Dak because Dak. Played less years, so you know and he's only out there one and, he's one and two in the and playoffs. One and two in the playoffs. I mean, Romo was nice, but he choked. He choked. I mean, both of them choking big games. But I, I go Dak. I go Dak. Because Tony Romo went to a whole other level, like in choking. Like, I mean, Tony Romo. I mean, it, the word choke should be right next to his name. That's that's real talk. That, that, that game in Seattle. <laughs> Where he dropped the the, the the extra point, he had yeah. nothing but real yep. estate, and he trips to run to the fucking end. That was I mean, his first time playing the ball. Everything about that man. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that was showing that. you. That was showing you had. That was what a thing to come after. You know, after everybody knew that was going to be his future the rest of the way. But there's your out the box. Your who? Uh, what is it? Who? What and why? What is it? How do you call it? Yeah, who and who why? And why? So there's there's your there's yours. I had to get you one back. But uh, I mean, I think I'd go with that too. I mean, I love Romo, but I, I would have to go with the guy that's a little bit faster, a little more athletic. Yeah. And uh, we don't know if he's a, as bad a choker as Tony Romo. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. One and two, it, 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 it's not enough inventory for me. But I know he chokes in the prior games before that to get to the playoffs. 100%. Like week 15, week 16, he'd be choking on that Dak Prescott. Yeah. So that's a fact. Yeah. All right, Noah Parker, a pleasure as always. My day one. My son said, what's up? He said, keep an no eye doubt. on him. I told him that he, he looks more like you than me. It, 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 I said, Noah could be your father. I mean, it, it, real talk, he looked more than Noah than he looked like me and shit. But uh, he's coming soon, the young gunner. He said he respects your work, and hopefully uh, we all can no work doubt. together, man. No doubt. Looking forward to it. Can't wait. Okay, my brother, stay up and stay good, baby. So, Al York Sports Show, okay. best out there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, baby. Let's get him, baby. All right. X me out, my brother. Thank you. Oh, that's Noah Parker, man. That's one of my day ones. I can't really say day, day one because uh, I, I started with the money line guy, which is uh, my man Will, one of the first guys I ever, you know, did the sports talking with, uh, Eddie J. I got a guy named Eddie J that we, we planted for years. Uh, I mean, so many guys that I, you know, I fucked with and, and, He's just still on board. I mean, I got no beef with none of my ex-guys. They just moved on and decided to do other stuff because in this gig, you know, it, it gets so personal. and it, 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 It's a dragging gig because it's like, you know, you got to put it two, three days a week. You know, it's not generating. And, and after a while, people want to eat, and I get it. But this is why I tell you, I do it for the love. And, and, and if it brings the bread on top of it, then that's jackpot for me. But a lot of people, you know, after a while, they just can't do it no more. That's it. They just can't do it. Uh, Lloyd White, Bucks money line. Uh, I kind of like that. But when we get the free picks tomorrow, make sure you tap in. My boy, my boy likes the other side on that game with the points. Yeah. He likes the other side with the points. Okay, let's get the uh, let's get the show started. Let me get the uh, – start spinning this wheel so that people can start winning some prizes, man. And like I said, we got to get more of you people involved, man. We have to get more of y'all involved. Give me a minute. The producer.
Let's go to our giveaway, round three. Giveaway one. One through 20. Giveaway one, round three. The leader sports book chap with seven wins. And we got a lot of people at five, four, three, et cetera. Good luck to everybody, man. Salute to Noah Parker, man. Coming through, bringing that smoke, baby. Happy holidays, man. Should be doing that coast to coast, man. So y'all already know, man. Y'all can hit me um, on the inbox, whatever, man. Y'all don't have to win. Y'all can just purchase. You know what I'm saying? It's up to y'all. Okay, one through 20. Giveaway one. Let me make sure I make it really clear so everybody sees that this is done correctly. Mark, man, we just missed you, Mark. I was calling for you, man. Damn, Mark. We damn near finished. All right, let me marinate this chicken, baby. Let me make sure each chicken is marinated. Giveaway one, round three. Let the best person win, baby. Here we go. We got a winner. Like I said, long as one ball come out. Two, I redo it. Four, I redo it. We got a winner. Let me back this bad boy up so y'all can see it. See the blue ball, right? No homo, blue ball. The winner for round one, uh, round three, giveaway one. Round three, giveaway one is number one, number one. Esa loca, esa loca, finally won one, baby. She's number one. She finally won a giveaway. I told you. Your turn will come, girl. All right, hold up. Let me uh, bring this back. Wow, she finally won one. I told you, girl. I said, give it time. And look, you won. And you got a chance to sweep the ball. You can win again. Okay, we're doing giveaway two. Round three. Giveaway two, round three. Look, I got her first win. Salute. 21 through 40. Let's get it. I know she gonna party tonight with her man. It's on. Feels good to win. I lost that Texas San Antonio game though. I had that shit money line at college game. They were up 12 zip. 12 zip. I had a money line against Troy. And they fucking lost, man. Okay, here we go. Giveaway two, round three. Let's get it. Let me marinate this chicken, baby. Damn, Mark, man, I was calling for you, Mark. Flipping lately, baby. Here we go. All the chickens marinated. One ball. That's all we looking for. One ball. Here we go. We got it. Right there. A cherry red came out, baby. A cherry red came out. The winner for giveaway two, round three, is number 29. 29. Woo! My boy Sess, baby. Sess, L-E-S, J Boogie's brother, baby. That's about like his third win or some shit. Congratulations to Sess and Loka. Now we going to the summary. We going to end this motherfucker. Give me a minute, guys. Let me push this to the side and we're going to end this.
Uh, we got winners that, you know, one first time winner and one who have won in a minute. Number one, Lockout, number 29, Sess. Congratulations to the winners. Uh, I just got some new apparel, as you can see. The wins and losses. I like this right here. You know, in the coast to coast. So, yeah, man, I'm going to step it up, man. Every other week or like every other month. Let me say it right. I'm going to try to step it up for y'all. Get the newest of the newest shit so we can stay fly all year round, man. Uh, let me tap into the summary real quick. Uh, rest in peace to Paul Silas, uh, Mike Leach. Definitely salute. Rest in peace to two great coaches. One college football, one NBA. Noah Parker came in. We took care of the Raiders. We took care of the college football playoffs and the Deion Sanders situation. Whoever's hating on Deion, get off the wagon, man. I mean, that guy took so many blows in Jackson State. And even though he took blows, he still finished the job and went undefeated in his last year, bro. And, and, and God bless Prime for what he's doing for these kids, man. I mean, a lot of you know, a lot of people hate him because, you know, Prime got that swag, and he's been getting money. So people don't like to see people that have been doing it continue to get it. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way people are. It's unfortunate, man. And last but not least, man, like my message, of the day when I told y'all, stop telling people, man, oh, God, I got you, and then you don't deliver. Oh, you got my word, you don't deliver. On oh, everything, you don't deliver. Because at the end of the day, man, when you lay down in that coffin, man, the only thing you can take with you, man, is your word, man. And like I said, try to take jury to see what happens. They're going to dig your body out, and they're going to snatch your shit up like anybody else in the mall that they do. All right? So the only thing you can take with you to the coffin is your word. Back your word up, man. Stop being cowards, man. Live to your word. That's all we got is our word. That's the only thing that really matters is our word. And with that, Al, your sports, the raw truth. No drinking and driving is the fucking law. Y'all stay up. Mark Guillory, we got the talk, man. Love, y'all.